ain't got no more lay back calling me splurge. Drop me jump right off the curve. Bitch, this first fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard. Crack up the four and I swear. Keep me a stick if they purge. Hey y'all, hey, if you're new, hi. If not, welcome back, babes. Happy Sunday. I was that tipsy at the end of last week's vlog. Why was I talking about I'm not drunk, I'm decent? I just finished taking a shower, unwinding, Sunday reset, tidying up some things. If you watched last week's vlog, Thank you, love you, appreciate you. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps your girl out a lot. Keep booping them likes. I was filming the TikTok yesterday, right? I don't even know if I'm going to put that part in, but long home. This waterproof liner, I was so happy to try, right? So I put it on. I try to do the little, because I only wanted to do like half of an eye. Baby wing. It was dry. And then I did a little slash on my hand because I'm like, is it dry dry? Because I really wanted to just try it. Like, I'm not really a liner girly, but I kind of want to get into it. What happened? Which y'all gave me a tester? This though, I highly recommend. This mascara, I looked it up on Sephora. It is $30, but hear me out. This it looks like a regular wand, right? But the bristles, I don't know if y'all can see how long. Come on, camera. You can see how long those bristles are. I put it on my bottom lash. I'm not even a bottom lash girly because if you're like me, it's very hit or miss. I'm not in the mood for smudging in the fuck up. I put it on my bottom lash. I was... I said, oh. I see why you $30. Hello. I am glad I got home when I did, though. About like 12.31-ish. Because that crack, crack, boom. I was like, wow. The fact that I filmed that Fenty video while tipsy... This is about to be hilarious. It's like a perm. Smack from the pick of a perm. Ice. The bird. Shit, you know, are you the turd? Can't take that deep with your turn. In my own room, we can't burn. Mason Margiela, I'm always grateful for when they send me fragrances and they've never sent me a baby one before. I forgot to tell you guys I got this in last week's vlog as well. I need to try it on my skin. I do not like the way it smells. It's supposed to be sun-kissed, salty skin. I understand it's summer. I understand beach. I don't think I want my skin to smell salty, though. When I read the notes, I don't mind musk, but musk can be very overpowering. And it was kind of giving, like, the sea salt by the seashore mixed with this musk. It's not, it's not cutting it. Once again, I know on the skin is very different, but when I sprayed it initially, mm -mm. I'm going to have to keep y'all posted on this. But I think it's very cute. Do wish, though, this is one of probably many brands, but I only received Margiela perfume for the most part. They don't come with caps. So if I even liked this scent enough to put it in my purse, I need a cap, Maison. I also was bumping this just now. I blew it out right before I started the video. If you know, you know. Because replica... Ooh, not the wax falling. Replica's candles, top tier. I'm about to take out my clothes for tomorrow. 
because remember we create the habits of doing things in advance all right folks that's it for me happy monday but let's talk let's talk got this motherfucking that might look like a little bitch but that little bitch be turning into these bitches sometimes so we we about to i cleansed my face with the tatcha rice cleanser and the coco kind oat to milk cleanser i decided to be an adult and i came home and i cooked although i had a pretty long but like positive and motivating day i had great energy all day but i was like girl don't come home and take a nap don't burn yourself out so lately i've just been talking to my body and i'll be like girl what you want to do and they'd be like girl not today and i'll be like i i have to show you something girl we got more long comb bitch so she is chica daily if you don't know her you're sleeping global makeup artist for long comb black woman stunting she does kiki palmer you know the girls remember this i got another one bitch and i swatched it and it looked crispy so we we, we gonna forgive them all right the mascara that i love that was 30 dollars bitch i got another one these are lip glosses and let me show y'all this one I could get jiggy wig. It's just a basic bitch peach, right? My lips is dark anyway, so I'm not expecting color. I just want moisture and hydration. Look at this girl. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. So I know everybody gonna be like, ooh, bitch, you got sparkles. Glitter. Okay. This one. And y'all know the skincare is like over the counter bougie yeah like this they gave me two of these but i gave one to my mother mind you the the scent chef's kiss mind you this is spf 50 primer and moisturizer girl that smells so good oh if you watched last week i told you to screenshot la vive la vive es belle right I sprayed this box about four days ago and it's still pumping. I wore it to the hood rat cookout. It smelled like a snack. But bitch, they sent me this one. Right? So I'm like, okay, all the items is called. Here we go with the botching of the names. I I doubt I I doubt ah! All of them is called the, that eye, right? But this is a travel. So I'm like, is this Leviv little little mini? You better come out. Don't embarrass me, chat. So I was like, is this Leviv little sister? Because it kind of really smells the same, y'all. I'm not going to hold you. But now that I got both of them together, it might be the same. But this don't say Ayodeli, Adol, Adele, child. This don't say it on a... Okay. That, that give grown woman. This a little lighter. They separate. They separate. Perfume. Oh, both of them is a perfume. Bitch, I don't know. Screenshot this one too. Because I'm pretty sure they sell this one in Sephora. And fun fact, I do not like rollerball. Hate it. I feel like I be... Like I be cooking in the kitchen, whipping up that sh... No. There's more. There's always more. The base mascara, which they also sent me in the other package. Grateful. Fucking appreciative. Priming serum. So we gonna try this one tomorrow. First of all, you open this. Compact, right? Super cute. You know I'm gonna be carrying this just as a mirror, right? So I'm sitting here like, okay, what's this? You push, you open this bitch. So it's one of those, like, remember when Tatcha made theirs and then you got to put your, and then boom, boom. But it smells divine. It's supposed to have hyaluronic acid. Yeah. Yo, Lancome is going to make me buy some of this shit. Watch. And I'm going to become. 
a bougie bitch. Lastly, the hip, hypnos, hypnos, hip somebody palette, right? Hypnotic. First of all, the packaging unmatched. Like, wait. This is perfect for beginners. Cause look, look at y'all. Cam. They teach you where to apply it. Like that's what the eye is. And then it's like where to go. And you can always peel that off. So I got like two mirrors today. Ain't God good? But look at the colors. That is every like minimalist dream. I never use the lighter shades like ever. It does nothing for my skin. But the last three, I could definitely see me going places with this. And if I didn't just shower, I would have swatched it for you. They gave me Clarifique, which I have to try in my skincare regimen. I'm a lawn comb girly. I'm so appreciative. If you missed my thank you, thank you last week, I must do it again. Thank y'all for any contribution, any like, commenting, and subscribe, all that. My bitch, we made it. We did it, Joe. So now I gotta really eat, eat a look up. I can't wait to like work with brands and like work with them and like film for them or even be a model girly one day. Like, Brand trip. Longcomb be sending the girls to France, bitch, and not Paris. Brand trips is coming. I'm speaking it. I'm talking it. Brand trips is coming. Brand deals is coming. The money is coming. Enough with my rant. I just wanted to pop in and say hello. Hello. I'm getting delirious because it's becoming that time where I'm really unwinding. I'm getting doo-loo-loo. But I've been chatting long enough, child. Catch y'all tomorrow. Prom prom. Pinky promise. Thank you. Happy Wednesday. Inserting iPhone footage of after work. I went to Target. Those, <laughs> the only reason why I did not get those silk pajamas is because they did not have an extra small. So I'm going to go to my nearest Target just to see if they do. And if they don't, I'm going to also check on Amazon to see if the top and bottoms is essentially cheaper. But the brown one I love and the blue one is giving me T-Boz and Creep. TLC is my girls. So I got to get that somehow some way but i always highly recommend the target stars above pajamas that line chef's kiss target knew what the fuck they were doing and then the essentials of why i actually went in there specifically for the toothbrush holder which they do not have colgate charcoal toothpaste i love also um the basics cotton round i use for my skincare and then i went to go get my nails done I got my feet the same color, just in case that clip is like horrible. So like a little cute iridescent pink purple moment. I literally wanted this, so it's like perfect. And now I want to show you guys the tripod I ordered from Amazon that got here super, super fast. So it comes like this. It has the shutter. It does come with the bag. I wanted one specifically that can hold a camera. Oh, this is super light. This is the, probably the lightest tripod I would own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes with it in the back, so I guess like on some never forget shit so you don't break it. Warning, be sure to follow these steps, y'all. Rotate counterclockwise to unlock the ring. Okay. Unfold tripod legs. And then push the ring down to the max position. Okay, so down. And then I guess we're gonna rotate clockwise to lock the ring. It's not 360, so I'm o I'm okay with that. Okay, but how do I extend though? Oh, wanna. Oh yeah, this is a tall bitch. If I'm not mistaken, I believe I paid. $27 for this one. It did come in white, 
but Amazon be wilding. Like, I'm not paying, like, an extra $10 just because you want me to have it in another color. How the camera go on? I lied. I lied. This piece is for a GoPro. Makes sense, though, because I never owned one. The shutter goes on the very bottom, which is super f***ing cute. This is really cool because you push this down to expand instead of the back you know you could do this too but this was cool push pull twist bop it so let me show y'all what y'all were just on so in order to adjust anything up here is fine this is the one that does a 360 turn in case you are not tripod savvy this i love because sometimes i just need like a little mm to it and then whatever so this you turn to rotate up and down so same it got a similar nod nodule whatever this would be called but this was the what was the kicker so in order for me to adjust i gotta unlock this put this position this so tripods have really came a very long way and that shows you how long i've been doing social media for you gotta adjust the legs and shoom, shoom, and it, it's it's a lot my equipment is my babies the sturdiness Like when the wind blows, y'all ain't falling. So I just wanted to show you that. I will link it down below. Caius, whoever, Kais, you are worth my damn money, child. I just want to see. 12.7 ounces it weighs. What's that in pounds? I ain't doing the math. So it's 0.794 pounds. My tit is bigger than that. Love it. I'm not going to say I had a long day. But I could use a nap and I don't have to go to work so we can literally enjoy the rest of the vlog. I don't think I ever had a tripod that came with a bag. That's how you know she's tiny. Look at this bag. This is like the size of my arm. I'm not going to check back in with you guys today because y'all know I hate to give y'all dry mer energy. TTYL for now. Happy Friday vlog. I got y'all on the new tripod. It's a little bit higher on the table than I anticipated, but I love it. I came on here looking cute for y'all fresh skin. It's makeup time, bitches. I like using these things just so like nothing gets in my edges, but it's also softer than a headband. We're starting with the long comb. My skin is moisturized and prepped. Let it dry while I was doing my hair. It's much more softer of a texture than I assumed. Way more gentle. It kind of looked like lotion, doesn't it? I'm not even going to OD because I'm not using foundation. I like the feeling, but it's definitely hydrating. I always keep tissues on the side, like whether you get them from like the corner store, the chicken spot, whatever, New York, as you know, those tissues definitely do come in handy for you to wipe your hands. I like to dab my eyebrows with it truthfully, just in case there's any excess product. This Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Always, always use a mirror that is closer to you. I always start with my annoying brow, which is my right side. I always have to draw a tail, so I always used to arch it when I was younger, and I kind of just do it by habit. And of course, do what works for you. I also don't carve out my brows with concealer. It's just, I never liked that look. Filled? No fill. I've been letting my brows grow out. I haven't gotten it threaded in like over a year and I'm in love. I've just been doing them myself. NYX Brow Gel. Love. It comes with the spoolie. You don't got to dip the spoolie in nowhere like the elf in Anastasia. 
no shade just saying like i'd rather just comb through and if you have any harsh lines from the pencil of course it's going to spoolie it out i love to let the gel dry up first so we'll come back to that i'm gonna let it rest first i use a color that is closest to my skin tone which i'm going to be doing the la girl in medium beige i use the applicator just straight up and lately i've just been doing streaks starting from like not up here like i used to just down but my favorite part about this applicator is i get to contour my nose with concealer which i usually do anyway i don't use actual contour but this applicator allows me to really like get in there I don't put makeup on my upper lip. I know I should because it is essentially dark and I dead ass didn't even shave this little bit of hairs that's up here, but it's okay. The first thing that gets hot on my face is my upper lip. It gets blotchy, that ain't cute. So whatever's left over from the sponge is going to go on my upper lip, but very little. Spoolie. Spoolie mixed with spatula from e.l.f. Highly recommend. I've never seen it in CVS, only in Ulta. The gel is tacky, right? And then any sparseness, I just like go back in and like measure, you know, just to make sure the liner is, the liner, just to make sure the hair is where I wanted it. When you have a great pencil you cannot be fearful of the spatula and that method because obviously my brows didn't move so that mean the NYX glue is great as well as letting it dry is much better because everything is seeping in so dab out dab how you prefer I dab up I dab down I pat lightly I am not like eh -eh pat very very gently because you don't want the product and of course i work my way up i've always gone out i've seen a lot of people are like yeah i lift i always lifted out so if i've ever had a big streak of a white line at least i was lifted look at that look at that does it even look like i have concealer on or this is just natural i don't use color correct because I'm not using foundation so two concealers are always the trick for me this is how I start to contour I dab from my nose so the same way the girlies do when they take and they dab from the eyebrow down with the actual contour bronzer whatever they use I just come from the eye and I go down I'm not even gonna cover these dark spots because I, I always used to kind of color my face with concealer. So it's so funny that like these makeup trends are dead ass trends. Because that shit I was doing when I was like 20. And I'm like, I don't like foundation. It's too heavy. I've always painted my face with concealer only. Then I'm going in with NARS. Here we go with the botching of the name. Secure the org. So not too much for this one. Not because it's bright or anything, but... NARS is NARS, so the coverage is there, okay? While I let that sit, we can do eyes. I want to try the Lancome Sliss Booster XO. I use the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous. It's not a booster. It's pretty much just the white mascara, the primer. Yeah, but it's L'Oreal. That's the one that I've always used. I'm going to put this booster thingy, though, on the top and bottom lash because we're going to use the Lancome mascara. One thing I will say I have noticed about Lancome's items, specifically the mascaras or any type of wand, this gives much more volume and is far from clumpy in comparison to the L'Oreal. Same thing with the mascara far from clumpy in comparison to other ones it has to be a very thin wand in order for me to not feel like it's clumpy i'm so excited for this oh girl 
That looked like I popped on the whole half of a lash. Ah! Look at that bottom. Look at that. What? And I got two of them. Thank you, Jesus. I could always tell if a mascara is good or not because my lashes naturally go down. So if I, if you're giving me the effect, whoo! Wow. And that's only one coat. I'm definitely going to do two. So this is just one. And for the bright concealer, I don't bring out. Because I need all the coverage to be within right here. And then this is when I just randomly start blotching. You know, just a little boom. Leftover concealer is my favorite. When I tell y'all favorites, because I be just like, bow, 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 everywhere. If I were going out... I would have used Huda powder because she's unmatched. Since I'm staying indoors, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me. Once again, I love that these items are like trendy and shit because I've been had her. Not even a makeup girl and I've been that girl. Okay? Look at that. Needs help. And then I take excess because my brows are naturally going to be oily because it's summertime. Because I like to give the matte look without it being matte products. Hula Benefits Bronzer. I think this is the regular color. Like I'm doing blush. I do bronzer like blush because I don't use blush. I don't even use setting spray. When you want it to last or if I was out for like an all day extravaganza, then yeah, I would use setting spray. But this is the look, kids. Mm-hmm. So just a bronzy coverage, summertime, effortless look. I'm about to just do Juvia's Place lip liner with this. This I use... I don't think I'm ever going to purchase another lip gloss from another brand ever again. It's thicker than Huda's, which I love, but it has the like hydrating and moisturizing component, like the Fenty Cherry Treat lip oil. This is in Lux Liner Brownie. I've never done this combo before, and I didn't feel like doing a matte lip. So that's how it comes out very clear because I have very dark lips, but I kind of just wanted to give that glass lip look with the liner. I want to dab some soft matte from NYX in the color London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, ha. yeah, yeah, because I don't know about y'all, but Lippy is my favorite part. My lip combos is, ask about me, kid. <laughs> with the orange, with the baby here swimming, <laughs> waves on swim so they hate on her. <laughs> Take me on a date. I'm getting ready. I'm in the zone. I'm ready to get on my Zoom. Mini Fridge need to come out because she's always loud. She likes to make a statement. And I'll see you guys when I'm done. And then here's the aftermath. And when I tell y'all I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Hungry. Them two short videos is easy. You think this filming shit is easy? No, it's not that easy all the time, but it's fucking fun. Just an update. Why I don't particularly use the Fit Me outdoors, like an all-day shebang, is due to creasing. Fit Me is cute. It blurs all the above, but it still doesn't give the, you know, just in case you got some bags like me. I'm going to go run outside, get me some Spanish food, and enjoy the rest of my Friday and mind my business. Hopefully by next week, I can tell y'all about the email that I got today.
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna react. I'ma just I'm gonna I'ma leave it right there. Cliffhanger. But <laughs> that email, that email, that email. When I vent to y'all about it next week, just get ready, okay? Like what? It's giving like mama I made it part two. Thank you, Jesus. That's all I got. Oh! Okay. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. I haven't done an outro in forever. But at least I look cute. I don't got the scarf on when I'm doing it. Ew. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with me. Catch you next week. TTYL for now.